Welcome to the Rip Charts Gulf of Mexico tutorial. Um, what I'm going to go over today is just kind of a little bit about how the Gulf works, what we're looking for, um, why paying attention to the whole Gulf is important, even though you fish out of one port. Um, so let's. What I'm I'm on right here. I'm already logged in. I've already done a search for three-day composites. Um, I could look at you know the multi-res, or if you get happen just to get a real cloud-free day across the whole Gulf. Um, you can you can also look at a daily composite or or a granule, but for the most part, when we're trying to look at what's happening out there, we'll hit those three-day composites and those multi-res to check it out. So, just go ahead and hit this first one. And and this is kind of an overall view of the Gulf. Sorry, you can't see quite all of it because I'm trying to fit it into the into the YouTube screen. Um, but what this is is warm body of water coming up from the Yucatan. This is the loop current. This current comes in, makes a you know a loop, and then comes back out, and then runs up north of Florida and creates the Gulf Stream. As it comes up, sometimes it'll swell into all the way up near Louisiana, or sometimes it'll just stay lower. But occasionally, like as in right now, it'll break off a piece. Um, if I hit the altimetry, we can see that there's a, a, um, a definite. Um, Let's see, I'm a little far out to tell why that's an upwelling. Usually they're upwellings, yeah. Or I'm sorry, or downwellings. Usually because they're warmer water, they tend to be a little bit higher and they're, they're a little bit different density. So those guys, so in the middle of this thing, you're not going to really find the fish, but definitely along the edge, you're going to find some fish on this guy. But as he starts to migrate, he'll migrate um, a lot of times north or northwest initially. And let's kind of look at the currents and see what's going on. See, he's running a counterclockwise just, just like he should be. And then we've got another kind of um, uh, clockwise eddy occurring off to the side of him. So that transition here would be great. Of course, it's way offshore right now. So, But, but the reason we look at these bodies of water as they're offshore is that we want to pay attention to them because even though they move slowly and dissipate, we want to make sure we know where they're headed. The, what this guy will do is he'll come up here, he'll run up into, sorry, I'm rolling over some waypoints, he'll roll up into this area, he'll roll off east, and then he'll roll back down and be reabsorbed. What you're seeing here in this warmer body here is remnants of a very similar eddy that had come up and, uh, and is now being reabsorbed into the uh, loop current. So these, especially if you fish out of Alabama, Mississippi, Western Florida, you know, and off of Louisiana, these guys are very, very important to your fishery, and they are what bring fresh fish in. So if you've had a very harsh winter and the colder water's out deep and these warmer water guys will then push up in here and bring the fish along with them. So definitely pay attention to those guys. Very important. While we're still going to make sure we move this up, also what will occur is that the warmer water will kind of peel down into here, into the Bay of Campeche, and then it'll start migrating its way up north. For the guys down um, in, in this area, you guys have a lot of warm water that comes up here. There are some breaks that occur here um, that are important for you guys. And then as we get into the Bay of Campeche, um, the guys that fish along the coast here, you definitely want to pay attention to this warmer water as it comes in close to you. For us up here in Texas, um, this warmer water, as it moves into the spring, will then push back up. In the winter, the cooler water pushes down, and then the, and the fish move with it, the warmer water. And then as it warms back up, that water will start pushing its way north along the coast. Um, so those are the type of things that you definitely want to pay attention to, what that water is doing, where it's headed, um, and, and that's what will bring the fish for fishing with it. So that's definitely an overview of the currents, uh, kind of what transpires in the Gulf. Um, let's look at the water clarity. Uh, let's, let's continue to talk about um, this real quick. As we move into the summer months, the temperatures will equalize um, across the Gulf. They'll become real temperate. Right now, there's some limiting temperatures where the fish will not move into these cooler waters. Uh, just because their physiological makeup won't allow them to. As we move into the summer months, those waters will warm up, and then the fish can migrate a little bit. And then as we get further into the summer, the waters closer to shore will then heat up more so than the waters offshore. And then we'll start focusing in on cooler temperatures offshore. 
the same bodies of water, but they're not affected by the changes in temperature as much as the shallower water is. So definitely something to be mindful of. Um, we will move, let's go into um, kind of a watercolor imagery and kind of pay attention to that real quick. Um, for a tutorial on chlorophyll and what that represents, um, check out our uh, chlorophyll tutorial and to get a little better feel of, of what it represents. But it's definitely where we can see the different blue waters and, and different currents and so forth. This is a composite image. Um, you know, we're trying to build an image here to kind of show you what's transpiring. Let's go. Let's go see if we've got a good granule or something, so I can get you something a little closer to shore that might be better. Let's roll in here off the delta and kind of look at what's occurring. Okay, so you've got some transitions in watercolor uh, from the green to blue, and then we've got some blue to blue. You know, those are key transitions. Um, they're very much so key this time of year as the warm water is moving in, and they are definitely key during the summer months when the temperatures equalize. Um, when the temperatures equalize, we will definitely not pay as much attention to the sea temps as we will to the chlorophyll and the true color imagery to discern what the different transitions are because those transitions are what are going to hold fish. As we get these bodies of water that move in, they will cross these rigs. They will cross areas like the midnight lump. And that's what will begin to deposit fish on these areas as, as the water crosses through them. And, I mean, I'm sure you guys um, in the Gulf have fished the rigs, and sometimes rigs are really hot, and sometimes they're not so hot as far as the bite. Um, that's because a good body of water will have moved through that offshore oil rig and deposited some really good fish on there, and it will continue to uh, produce until those fish decide to move on with the bait. Um, so that's definitely something to pay attention to and be aware of um, for the Gulf. But those are the kind of the dynamics of the Gulf. Make sure you pay attention to those peel-offs on the uh, the Gulf Stream. I'm sorry, the uh, loop current. Um, very, very important to the fisheries. Um, it, it, they definitely will bring in the, the quality fish. Um, very important as you get into the tournament season to where those things, pay attention to them now because those things take a while to migrate. So just keeping track. Some of those things finally come in and come close, you know, to grab your stuff and get out to them. Um, that's kind of the, the general um, overview of the Gulf. You know, we, of course, offer different imageries and stuff to, to help you narrow down your search a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on kind of the, the dynamics of, of what's transpiring out there. Um, you know, obviously you can go into granules and see exactly where those, those, those remnants of those particular eddies are. You know, you've got a peel off here where you've got some good transitions in here, and these guys will probably come alive pretty soon if they're already not so, still so from this other eddy that crossed through them. Anyway, that's a quick rundown on the Gulf Dynamics, and uh, if you've got any more questions, always feel free to call us, um, always feel free to email us. We'd be happy to help. Thank you for uh, watching the Riptards Gulf of Mexico tutorial.